Recently, while doing one of the boxing videos for the Silva Challenge, you may have noticed this Kenworth uh, made by Matchbox that I set aside to work on later myself. Well, I did. <laughs> this is kid painted, in case you can't tell by that orange or the interesting blue wing on the back with the uh, kind of odd supports, but uh, yeah, it's, it's even kid painted, it's really worn. It had three posts on it. Uh, I only end up using two of them. I didn't use the one at the back. I didn't drill that one out. Now you notice the inside is black. And what that tells me is when I went to the Matchbox car wiki, it turns out this is a Matchbox Kenworth Bandag Bandit. Now this was made in Macau and it was only produced in 1983 and 1984. Now, while it was originally black and it had uh, some designs on the side and stuff, I decided that I wanted to keep with the kid theme, the kid paint theme, and try and make it something that kid would be proud of. There was a weird little lump on the hood that I tried my best to get rid of, and uh, it was also on the inside. It was, it was odd, an odd little clump of metal. So I worked on that, and... Uh, Drilled and tapped it, you know, in the usual way. And like I said, I only did the center tap and the front. I didn't use that back post because I didn't really need it. And it's not like there's going to be a kid playing with this. So it was more than strong enough with just using those two posts. And I worked on that spot and worked on that spot. And uh, it was weird because when I heat up the casting, like when I was painting it and I bake it, it almost seemed to come back out. So I'm not quite sure what was going on. But my thinking was I was gonna polish the heck out of this and there's an early polish on it. And I was gonna use the metal cast orange paint to give it kind of a spectra flame type look. So that was the plan. I definitely wasn't gonna keep that back wing, that orange and blue. It's actually black plastic. So I threw those plastic pieces in the super clean to get the junk off of them. And I went back to polishing the casting. And after that original polish, this is another sanding I did of it. And then, you know, once you sand it back down, you know, then you polish it again. And I polished the heck out of it with flits and uh, some polishing compound I have. So I worked on that and I, you know, I got it to a point that I was happy with the polish. There you can see the sides are still not great. It, this casting isn't designed for this kind of polish, apparently, or it was just beat to hell. But I thought, well, it'll turn out okay. And so I went over it with the Spectra Flame, and I wasn't happy with that paint job. It's not easy to rattle can something like this with all these nooks and crannies. And I just wasn't happy. There were some areas where it was too dark, so. I thought, I'm not going the Spectra Flame, the, the metal cast paint. I'm just gonna strip it down again. So I stripped it, painted it again, this time with an orange lacquer. And I'll get back to that in a minute. But uh, I ended up, uh, after polishing the wing, and I did polish that wing with flits as well after getting the paint off of it. So I got it to a nice shine, and then I just dipped that in gauzy to give it a nice protective coating. I did not want to clear coat it with paint. I thought just doing the gauzy dip would be more than adequate on that. And, and I'm happy with how it turned out. I did have to sand that as well before I polished it because there were just some rough spots on it. It, it was just one of those things that you're only gonna get it so good. So I sprayed the body with a lac this orange lacquer and it didn't turn out well and I sprayed Stripped it and sprayed it again with the orange lacquer and it didn't turn out well. So this, what you see there is the fourth paint job and that is supposed to be gloss orange paint. And when it came out of the can, it was more of a flat powder coat than gloss. And as you can see, it's kind of a day glow orange. <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt that this thing is orange. But I, I thought this is kind of in line with what that kid would like. So I kept it. I figured I'd just gloss coat it after I got decals on it. And the kid didn't have any 
any pattern drawn on it, but I thought I'm going to put some stripes on it, put some stars on the doors, jazz it up a little bit. Again, I'm, I'm trying to keep that kid in mind as I'm doing this. You know, what, what would that kid like as an old man with maybe a little bit better skills than the kid? <laughs> if that makes any sense. And I'm sure some of you are going, God, why didn't you paint it black? <laughs> I did flat uh, coat the base. I went over that with flat black. And then I used the Molotow pen to add some chrome. I did gauzy the windshield. I thought about vacuum forming a clear windshield for this. And I thought, what's the point? Very little of that glass shows. And it's, it's a completely enclosed, so naturally it's really dark. So there was no point in doing that. The clear windshield on this, you know, creating a vacuum form windshield. So I just dipped it in the gauzy, gauzy, gauzy. This is, this is an extreme gauzy video. And let that sit, you know, let that sit to dry. And yeah, once that was done, I was pretty much all set. That is a Minwax clear coat on there that I, I finally did get the gloss that the can promised uh, was gloss orange. You throw enough Minwax on there and you can gloss anything. The wing pops in here in an interesting way. Um, the way it's held in, it just kind of drops in and then pushes back up to lock in. I didn't do anything fancy with the wing. I thought about putting orange stripes on it and then decided against it. And what you see me dropping in there are Sam Ed wheels they're a, a chrome orange set of wheels that I had ordered a batch from them a while back of just you know, the typical wheels that I use. And uh, included with my purchase, they threw in a free set of these orange wheels. And to be honest with you, I didn't have a clue what I was ever gonna use them on until this came along. And I thought, you know, it's just, it's meant to be. I thought about flipping the tires so that they would just be black. And then I thought, no, I'm going to let that Semad Wheels logo show on those because it gives it even more of a racing look. So, yeah, this is a build that's yeah, goofy as hell, probably. But uh, I'm hoping there's a little kid out there that would have really liked this build. There's where we started. It was kid painted and then beat to hell. <laughs> I'm kind of curious if the black wore off and then they put the orange paint or if they put orange over the black and it just wore its way down. Lord only knows. But I thought, eh, orange isn't too bad on this really and gave me a use for those wheels. I did not uh, chrome that back, uh, oh, whatever you call it, the fifth wheel? I don't know, I can't remember right now, brain fart. And my dad drove trucks. <laughs> Anyhow, here's where this one ended up. I hope you like this. This thing cracks me up. I, this, it's one of those things that just makes me laugh. And so I'm happy about it. I'm happy with the grill too. How just going around that flat black with the Molotow pin worked pretty well. It's something I might try again just around the grill rather than chroming it all or going over the chrome. Uh, with say a null oil or something to make that area black. This approach worked well too. So there you have it. An homage to kid paint. <laughs> I really am kind of happy with this thing. It just, it, it, I can't stop at smiling when I'm looking at it. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for watching this video. If you like these kind of videos and other kinds of videos of mine too, please subscribe and uh, give this video a like. Thanks to my Patreon supporters for all of their help. And everybody stay safe and healthy out there. I'll catch you in the next one.